During a BART strike, MTC recommends casual carpooling. Here's how it works. Starting at dawn at locations all over the East Bay, you can be dropped off by a relative or park your car in a lot like this, and a waiting driver will drive you into the city. It doesn't cost anything except a donation to the driver to cover bridge tolls. We'll take you two. We'll take you. Oh, yeah, come on. Dee Ristaro Harrison has been commuting 12 years. The last seven, she's been a casual carpool driver. The first four years, I used to, to be in this other lane over here. I don't know how I did it. I mean, if you look at this, I have no idea how I did it. You know, I would take, sometimes I'd take the back roads, but look at the big difference. It's just nice and stress-free in the carpool lane. She was cautious at first. One of my best friends, and, and she's more paranoid than I am <laughs> with the whole letting strangers into your car thing. And she says, oh, no, D, you know, you can, you can pick whoever you want out of the line. You can pick all women if you want. You can pick, you know, if you know somebody out of the line, you can pick who you want. And then the more you do it, the more you learn who the regulars are. So that's how I started. And everything. I said, oh, yeah, this is pretty easy. So I started doing it. I said, oh, wow. Well. Because I was thinking, you know, she's paranoid. I'm cautious. She's paranoid. I was thinking if she can do it, then, you know, then I definitely can do it. And that was how many years ago? And that was probably seven years ago <laughs> when I first started carpool riding. On a normal day, she and her riders save about two hours a day in commute time. This day won't be routine. Five o'clock this morning, the first thing I did was check 511.org to check the status of the BART strike. <laughs> for the driver, like for me, I, you know, I usually pick up Fairfield or Vallejo, so I go to the, to the pickup area, and there are carpool riders that are standing in line waiting to get picked up. And as a driver, um, I usually pick up women, or I pick up, you know, some of my regulars out of the line. And then they just ride with me to the city, to the drop-off location, drop them off there, and then I get back on the freeway and go to work. In the regular lanes, you'll see it's bumper to bumper and, and carpool just moves. When they get to bridge toll plazas, the toll for carpoolers is $2.50 per car. Since the driver is paying for gas, the riders chip in the toll. You still have to have the fast track, though, the transponder for the $2.50. Everybody knows that they contribute to the toll. That's a whole, you know, that's how carpool works. And it saves me a lot of money because I only have to pay $1.25 going and uh, $1.25 coming back to Vallejo. I've been doing it because my mom used to commute to San Francisco probably like in the early 2000s. And then she told me, why don't you just take casual carpool if it's, um, you know, it's cheaper and faster for you. You pay your $1.25, get in the car, and you're off for your commute. So. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Why not save the gas? Why not save the toll? Why not save the time? Look how bumper to bumper these these lanes are right here. And ours is just moving. And it, you know, this lane usually moves a lot faster too, but look how bumper to bumper this is. It's gridlock. Look how gridlock that is. They're barely moving. That's where uh, blood pressure medication comes in. <laughs> look, look how fast we're moving. Passing up hundreds of cars. That's very nice. That just kind of makes your day just right there, not having to sit in any of that. Oh, today we easily saved probably an hour, maybe even two. Glad's over. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the bridge. And right here is where you usually say, Woohoo! Yeah. Woo -hoo. Every morning, every city bound casual carpooler ends up here at Fremont and Howard Street. It's a daily routine for thousands. How was your casual carpool today? Awesome. At the end of the day, getting home for casual carpoolers starts three blocks away on Spear Street. Moved here recently from Beale because of 18 months of construction. They have signs. They'll say, you know, like Del Norte, they'll say Hercules, they'll say Vallejo, Fairfield. I go to my city, pick up who I need, take the Bay Bridge and go on home. Kathleen Corey and Brittany Briggs caught a BART bus from the temporary Transbay terminal on Beale. I usually take BART in, sometimes I casual carpool, and today was actually surprisingly efficient, and everything seemed to work out. We went right from one bus to the next, and the seats were comfortable, it was cool, it was air conditioned, and it went really, really smooth. I'm really impressed. Our commute went well. We were very surprised from Walnut Creek. We boarded our bus at 6.30. We got here at 8.30, 
Um, the bus driver was great. The, the very clean bus, free. And they're going to pick us back up here tonight. MTC recommends alternative transportation year-round. In San Francisco, Mark Jones reporting.